Whether you are at school, at work or at home, you probably sometimes just grab your smartphone to check your Instagram, your Twitter, your Snapchat or even YouTube videos. It has been estimated that the average person spends one hour per day on cyber slacking. And since you're watching one of my videos, you probably know what I'm talking about. But of all those videos that have been posted on YouTube, cat videos are the most popular ones with an average of 12,000 views per video. Meanwhile, my most popular video doesn't even have that amount of views. So if you would like to press the subscribe button, I would be very grateful. That being said, I'm going to explain you why we like cat videos. Welcome to Brains Applied. Studies have found that people are willingly to consume social media to change their emotional state or to maintain their positive one, often unconsciously. That's why you look at your Instagram so often. You know it's relaxing and fun and you know that it will make you feel better, so you just do it. And that's a proven theory that is called the mood management theory. The question is of course, how does this translate to cat videos? Why are they so fun? Let's go back to the research about why we keep pets. Historically, we would have held dogs for herding or to guard our properties. And we would have kept cats to protect our food from mice. But why do we keep pets nowadays? One theory states that we just like it because we are social beings and Imitating other people with pets makes us feel good. The best evidence for this theory is the extent to which some cultures, some groups of people differ in the frequency of pet keeping. Some cultures prefer cats or dogs, while in other cultures people don't like pets at all. On top of that, people in western cultures tend to see pets as social beings with human-like characteristics and we treat them as such, which makes us feel good because we are social animals after all. And according to the media equation of Reeves and Nas, people tend to react to computers and their content as if they were real. Experiments for example show that just like with people, extrovert people prefer extrovert computer programs, while introvert people prefer introvert programs. The personality of the computer was in this case changed through the language that it used. The phenomenon occurs automatically and it implies that videos, just like real pets, can improve our mood. I was able to find two studies who tested this hypothesis and they have found that cat videos indeed make you happier and as a consequence more eager to work hard, more creative and more curious to learn. And this also means that cat videos re-energize us and make us more attentive during our next task. We especially like cats and puppies because of their cuteness and big eyes, which makes them somewhat similar to babies. It has been suggested that we have an evolutionary trait that makes us more caring for something or someone that looks cute. So babies as well as tiny animals. But are there any disadvantages to watching cat videos? Yes. Watching cat videos is a form of procrastination. After a draining day at work or at school, you may start to procrastinate because you don't want to do the annoying stuff that you still have to do. And this is bad because procrastination and internet usage is also related to feeling more guilty. So no. Watching cat videos isn't absolutely fantastic, because you need to get your job done. But before you close your browser or the YouTube app, you might want to consider to perhaps press the like button and maybe if you want to, you can also subscribe and press the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys later.